Hi everyone, this is Liz Morrison, Coordinator of Professional Learning. Today I'm going to talk to you about transformative professional learning to kind of give you a heads up about tomorrow's principals meeting. Professional learning is transformational when it has immediate impact on teachers and long-term impact on practice and the students they teach. What we're looking at is a two-day summer development called Equity and Excellence, Increasing Student Engagement and Academic Achievement for All. You'll be happy to know that it's too long to make an acronym. So let's start with the why. The why for transformative professional learning is it increases academic achievement for all and it closes the achievement gap. The mission of the Parkway School District is all. Cooperative collaborative learning strategies enhance classroom management while increasing student achievement, providing a no opt out teaching methods that engage all learners in the learning process. And it ties in what we did last summer. It increases the skill of the teachers who have the will to make a difference for all kids. More why. Of course, our mission. Our mission is all kids. These strategies will help our teachers engage all kids in the learning process. And when kids are engaged, they're more likely to learn. Also, goal five of the strategic plan. This is where we say that all teachers will be developed and retained and they will be effective for our kids. Once again, effective teachers. According to the National Council on Teacher Quality, the demand for highly qualified teachers is slowly but surely being replaced by a call for highly effective teachers. Accountability for student learning and research confirming the strong impact teachers can have on student achievement has moved the field toward a decidedly performance-based focus on teacher quality. The strategies in transformative professional learning will help our teachers become even more effective than they already are. Once again, this will result in increased student engagement, which should lead to increased student achievement. The strategies for transformative professional learning are research-based best practices. These are tier one for all students' practices that can make a difference right at the beginning. They go with stage three of UBD. These are best practices that when teachers apply in their classroom will make a difference for kids. And finally, it helps us answer PLC question number five. What are best practices to ensure student learning? Also, this, the plan includes administrative participation from both the district and the school level. This is critically important because if you guys know what's happening with your teachers, you're going to be able to help move this learning forward as the lead learners at your school. And once again, this is transformative. The cooperative collaborative um, strategies your teacher is going to be learning will have an immediate impact on their practice and long-term impact on the students that they teach. So we started with the why. Let's talk about the how. It's a two-day institute on May 27th and May 28th. PPLCI will only be one day and it will be offered on May 26th. PPLCI is for your CLT leaders. The two-day institute on transformative professional learning is for the, pe the right teachers to be on the bus to learn this and take it back, use it, and bring it back to their colleagues. In this plan, we will have a critical mass of educators who understand these strategies and be ready to implement them in their classes. And when you have a critical mass, you can have a movement for success. We need to have ongoing professional learning to support this work. And that's going to be one of the questions that I bring back to you guys. How can we ensure that this isn't just a two-day shot in the dark and it doesn't continue once the school year begins? We need to have a plan to get new teachers on board. Luckily, I plan new teacher development, so that should not be a problem. We need to monitor for impact, and we'll be getting input from you guys on how we can monitor to see if it makes a difference. And a survey is not enough. We want to make a difference for student achievement. And how can this transformative professional learning do that for our teachers and for our kids? We're also going to be using Title IIA funds to pay for this development. More on the how. Like I said, we're going to be using Title IIA funds, and we were going to have four locations, national instructors, and the teachers will end up, as, and the administrators, with incredible resources so we can go back to our classrooms and really make a difference for our kids. What? Now you're wondering, what is this that's so amazing? This is a research-based best practice, and it's going to be demonstrated by Courtney Yeager and Nancy Suter at the principal's meeting tomorrow. This is the what. 
So let's do this thing. You guys, we have the right people to close the achievement gap and we can make this happen. One of the strategies is going to be this transformative, hopefully professional learning this summer. So what you can do to get ready for the principals meeting is review the document that is attached to this email that outlines the plan. Once you read the document, ask, please think about what questions do you have? How do you get the right people to attend? Who are the right people? And how do we utilize current structures to sustain the development? Transformative professional learning in Parkway, something for us to think about. It's stage three, it's PLC question number five, tier one for all students. Please take a look at the plan and I'm looking forward to talking to you about this tomorrow and for you guys to participate in the what with Courtney and Nancy. Thank you so much and have a great day.